Welcome to Pages from Apache County History with Dolly Patterson. In my last episode, I talked a little bit about the Navajo Churro Sheep and the Livestock Reduction Program of the 1930s and 40s. But I wanted to follow up a little bit on the topic, and I appreciate my coworker and friend, Michelle Jones, being willing to talk to me a little bit about it. Michelle, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, my name is Michelle Jones. Um, my clans. I'm a Kanisani, Twitachin, Ipashishin, Sitnajine, Dashiche, Tropane, Dashinale. Um, what that means in English is I'm Tangle Tangle People Clan, born for the Bitter Water Clan. Um, my maternal grandparents are Black Streakwood people and my paternal is uh, Water's Edge Clan. It's Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. And can you tell us a little bit about like where where you grew up? I mean, where are you um, originally from? Well, my parents are from, my mom is from Plagato uh -huh. and my dad is from Wide Runes. I grew up in Round Valley, right. but every summer we would go back um, to Plagato. And so do you still there. own land there? And yes. Great. You still own land have there. family there? Yes. Great. I have a cousin that's um, living there and aunts and uncles that are still down there. Oh, nice. So you can go and hang out with them yep. and, and do the family thing. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> um, so do you and your family still currently run sheep on the nation? Yeah, my cousin has his flock, and then we have ours. Uh -huh. Ours is not currently on the reservation. Ours is down here right now. Uh huh. But yeah, we have both. Okay, great. So you actually have some in Round Valley? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. That's nice. And can you tell us a little bit about what it takes to maintain a, a flock of sheep. I mean, like feeding them and what you have to do with them and and why you have them. Um, well, we have them and it's always been, I guess, keeping tradition alive. My mm -hmm. parents have always said, um, sheep is what brings you home, mm -hmm. basically. So, okay. and uh, and you'll never, you know, go hungry if, mm -hmm. you, if you have sheep. Hmm. So it's a way to tie you to the land and your family. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's great. And so, do you have plenty of room to graze them in Round Valley, or do you have to supplement feed them? Um, yeah, mean, we have to. Sup we have to buy hay uh -huh. and grain, and you know the mineral blocks and stuff like that. Right. Because we can't graze them. Um, what my cousin does is uh -huh. he'll um, let the sheep walk around and graze themselves. Uh huh. Um, sh what is sheep herding? Sheep herding. Right. Right. So. They usually do that early in the morning and then they come back um, midday uh -huh. and they have a break and then they let them out again in the evening so they, so they keep them out of the heat. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, yeah, and probably because there probably isn't a lot of water out there for them to yeah. find either, especially with the drought. Yeah, well, when my grandparents used to herd sheep, they uh -huh. used to have um, two different areas, you know, they go right. one place during the summer and then a different place during the winter. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not like that anymore. Right, but, right. But and now, that makes yeah. total sense. So that it can give a break and let the yeah. let the grass grow back and the shrubs and stuff. Um oh when you're oh when you were talking about that I I forgot there was another question I wanted to ask. Um so do you have sheep dogs? I've always been fascinated with what amazing animal sheep dogs are do you guys have any we or? currently we currently don't but mm -hmm. my cousins do uh -huh. they have dogs that guard and do they train them or do they come trained or no they're um, amazing to me they usually what they do is usually just when they're puppies uh -huh. they just kind of let them live with the sheep uh -huh. so they get used to the sheep so you kind right. of grow up around the sheep so and so is a lot of it natural yeah. instinct then yeah wow they'll, they'll stay with the sheep yeah, I watched them, heard them, and they're they're drill sergeants. They make sure they go where they're supposed to go. So great, that's great. And do you guys shear your sheep? And what do you do with the wool? Do you use it? Do you sell it? Um, we shear the sheep. Mm -hmm. uh, when we sell it, we and since we started early, them, we didn't we haven't sold any wool yet. Uh huh. So, but yeah, we shear every year during the summer. Well, and and have you have you ever spun wool or done anything like that, or is your mom? Me, not personally. Yeah, we would mostly just sell it. Okay. Yeah, no, that's great. I, w I was curious about that. I just thought of that. <laughs> um, and 
And so, so you already answered that question. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of new to the whole experience too, because when we were younger, um, my parents worked a lot, so uh -huh. we really only went back to the reservation for like a week or two. Uh huh. Um, so my cousins have more experience, experience. with, you know, sheep herding and the uh, cheering and, you know, castrating right. things like that. Right. And so, weren't you able to help recently with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring it up. <laughs> I had to do it this year. Um, but yeah, it, it was a fun experience to learn. Was it? Great. Great. And do you like tag them or anything or? We don't, but yeah. yeah. Okay. I just I I mean, wondered. Yeah. But you got to help with that. When we were younger, uh, they used to do that because, you know, several different family members have their own sheep. Right. It's to keep them. Yeah. Keep them together. So they yeah. all have, they each have distinct cut. Right. Cuts huh. and stuff. Yeah. I've seen that in old newspapers when sheep were huge around here. Yeah. The different cuts. Um, do you remember when you first heard about the Navajo Sheep Reduction Program? And is it something you talked about? Or how did you first hear about that? Well, I first learned about it in high school during research on my own. Mm -hmm. um, I asked my mom about it, um, but she she said she really, her family didn't really experience that. Good. So. That's good. But yeah, yeah so it, it wasn't something you really talked no, about. Yeah. No, it's it was, probably yeah. too tragic. and. Yeah, it was heartbreaking just reading about it. So. It is. It is. It was heartbreaking for me, and, and I wasn't really affected by it, but I was affected reading about it. So, yeah, darn it. Um, and so none of your ancestors were affected by the Livestock Reduction Program, really, that you know of? Not that I know yeah, of. not that yeah. you know of. So. And if they did, they probably didn't talk about it because it was too sad. Yeah, it is. It is. It's tragic. Um Oh, so do you guys butcher, I know I was thinking, I, I keep forgetting my questions, sorry audience. <laughs> do you guys butcher them any time? Do you like have one that you butcher and... and... Yeah, we'll butcher. Um, I haven't learned how to butcher yet, which uh -huh. is another thing on my list to learn. Right. But yeah, we usually ask um, other family members to help us butcher. Uh -huh. But yeah. Well, that's great. And so you have like a family gathering and butchering... And do you like freeze it? Do you dry? I don't know. Do you dry um, it? We freeze it, and uh -huh. then usually, um, traditionally, you share with your uh -huh. butcher. So, right, you know, the person butchering for you usually takes whatever. right some of it, yeah, yeah so. for helping out. Yeah, oh, that's great. That's great. And I was interested when I was working on my last video. You were telling me I was so surprised to read that in the Miss Navajo Nation pageant they actually have to they have to know how to. Yeah, but you're they have all to, that. Yeah. yeah, and you said it's kind of part of a life skills mm -hmm. test or something. I think that's wonderful. Yeah, that was that was such a surprise to me. But yeah, they have to learn, and they have to do it in like less than an hour or something. Yeah, I'm not positive exactly. about that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. do know that's one of the requirements of wow. becoming Miss Navajo Nation. Miss Nation. Yeah. That's great, Michelle. I, is there anything else that you want to add, or any other thoughts on your mind about this? Hmm. Can't think of anything. Well, I appreciate so much your willingness to talk to me about this because I know it's it's a heart heart rending subject, and so I'm gonna try and tell you thank you in Navajo, so don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh, I'm right I now. know so am okay. I. I'm gonna try to say a uh, uh, a yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you. That's closer. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> I appreciate it. And and just one last thing too. Tell me again, this this was a Navajo word I came across a lot in the books I was reading about this. And the, the woman kept referring to it as balance, but you say it's more about beauty. Uh -huh. And and what's the Navajo word for that? Hajoho. Okay, I'm not going to try that. Hajoho. <laughs> Hajoho? Yeah. That's close enough. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this episode. And again, we appreciate you watching and we appreciate you, Michelle. Thank you so much. Thanks.